Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create 3D cartoon videos in Talking Photos AI. This is a cartoon style video that I created using my own face, but you can create any type of cartoon character. So let's get started. So I'm logged into my Talking Photos account. This is the home page. Click on Create Video at the top, and you'll see this pop up. There are four types of videos you can create using Talking Photos AI. You can create human videos. You can create 2D and 3D cartoon videos, which is what I'm going to show you today. You can create animal talking videos. And finally, you can create singing and dancing videos. And I'll be creating separate tutorials for each of these types of videos. So I'll click on the 2D and 3D cartoon video option. In this first step, you need to choose the aspect ratio. You can create horizontal or 16 by 9 aspect ratio videos, or you can create videos that are vertical, which is 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So I'll choose the vertical video option, and then I'll click on create new character. And this next step is where we generate our cartoon character using an AI prompt. You can use this drop down box and choose male or female. I'll choose male and then I'll click on this other drop down where you can choose the ethnicity. I'll choose white and then using this drop down, you can choose either 2D or 3D cartoon. I'll choose the 3D cartoon and then next you need to enter the AI prompt into this box. So I just entered it there. And then I'll click on generate. It can take about 15 to 20 seconds to generate the AI image. So just give it a few seconds. And then once it's complete, you're going to see the AI image generated, as you can see this one right here. You can use this button to download the image to your local drive or your computer. So you can use this image as is, or even change the prompt if you're not happy with it. You can also use this button to extend the prompt. And as you can see, it has extended the prompt. And then I'll click on the regenerate button. And it will then again start regenerating the 3D cartoon image. And then based on the extended prompt that we just gave, it can again take about 15 to 20 seconds for the new image to be generated. And this is the regenerated 3D cartoon image. As I showed you earlier, you can then download the image if you want to. In this section, you can face swap this image with your own face. So I'm going to do that. So I'll click this image button and then navigate to my folder in File Explorer. I'll choose my image and then click Open. So here is the uploaded image. Once again, I'll click on the Regenerate button. And then it will then regenerate the 3D cartoon image. But this time it's going to put my face on it. And again, we should just give it a few seconds here. And I think it did a pretty decent job. Then I'll click Next. And in this next step, we have to choose a motion, which is essentially body movements and hand gestures. And as you can see, if I scroll down, there are many, many different motion animations and hand gestures to choose from. You can hover your mouse and click this button over a specific animation to see what it looks like, like so. Let me close this preview dialog box, and then I'll choose this one. And then click Next. In this next step, we need to choose the audio. There are three tabs at the top. You can import an audio file like an mp3. You can even record your own voiceover right here. Or you can use the built-in text-to-speech feature, which is what I'm going to be doing. So you enter a text into this box that you want to convert into text-to-speech. You can choose a language. I'll leave it to the default English. And you can use this drop-down here to choose a voice. I'll stick with Andrew. 
And some of the voices even have emotions to choose from. I'll stick with the default general. You can also use these two sliders to control the speed and the pitch of the text-to-speech voiceover. Finally, click on this Import Speech button, and it will generate the voiceover in a few seconds. And then you can click this Play Audio button to preview the voiceover. So let me close this dialog box and then click Next. In this final step, you need to name your project. So I'll give it a name and then click Render Video. It will start the rendering process and bring you to this page. Now it can take about 20 minutes to render the video. And if you click this Go to My Videos button, it will take you to the My Videos section where you can see the progress of the video processing. In the meantime, you can work on other video projects if you want to. This one took less than 10 minutes to process. And then once the video is rendered, you'll see these options to preview or play, download, delete, and reuse the video. And here's how it came out. Hey guys, Anthony here. So this is an AI generated cartoon image that I created using the Talking Photos AI app. First, I created the cartoon image using an AI prompt. Then I used the face swap feature to add my own face to the image. And finally, I used the built-in text-to-speech voiceover feature to add this voiceover. You would have also noticed I added some hand gestures. There are many different types of hand gestures that you can add. If you'd like to learn how to create these types of talking photos, please check my step-by-step -step tutorial. So there you have it. You can get talking photos for a discounted price for a limited time. Check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.